Thank you, Mr. Chairman, very much. In September of 2018, communities in Lawrence, Andover, and North Andover, Massachusetts, lived through fires, explosions, and evacuations in a night that Andover Fire Chief Michael Mansfield said, quote, look like Armageddon. A young man, Lionel, Lionel Rondon, was killed, dozens were injured, and more than 100 homes were damaged or destroyed. As my investigation and the NTSB's investigation have found, <clears throat> the Merrimack Valley Pipeline disaster was not inevitable. It was preventable. All of this devastation came from a single pipeline work project, but it took a cascade of multiple safety and oversight failures for us to get to the point where one project could cause catastrophic damage across three cities and towns. Member uh, Hamidi, um, do you agree that Congress should ensure that these regulatory safety gaps are closed through passing legislation um, uh, so that uh, we work together in a bipartisan fashion in order to accomplish those goals? Absolutely, Senator. Both Chairman uh, Sumwalt and I were at that accident scene, so I, I do. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> that's why I introduced the um, Lionel Rondon Pipeline Safety Act in order to address these failures and help ensure that no other community, no other family would have to go through the same sort of preventable tragedy. Uh, what my bill does is to, uh, is to promote the use of pipeline safety management systems, requires companies to keep updated maps and records, ensures multiple layers of safety redundancies, <clears throat> and mandates that qualified employees sign off on work plans, all things conspicuously absent in the Merrimack Valley. As the NTSB has noted in its interim recommendations, uh, those things unfortunately were lacking. So Chairman Sumwalt, uh, Member Hamandi, do you agree that the interim recommendations the NTSB has made following the Merrimack Valley disaster are reasonable and achievable and frankly essential for pipeline operators? Yes, sir. And, and I'd like to weigh in on that, Senator Markey. Uh, I want to thank you also for your long, long-standing commitment on this. You're showing leadership through the hearing that you chaired uh, on November the 26th in Lawrence. Uh, yes, we feel that our recommendations are, are were, were very timely. We issued five interim safety recommendations, four of which were urgent. Uh, just this week, the board has voted uh, on the on four of of the recommendations to NISORSE. We've They've been, NYSORS has been able to close out two of those in an acceptable fashion. The other two are still open in an acceptable fashion. And Mr. Chairman and uh, Member Hamandi, do you agree that the interim NTSB recommendations, if adopted at the federal level, would strengthen pipeline safety in other communities across the country, as well as in Merrimack Valley? I do. For example, uh, one of the urgent recommendations was for a sealed and professional uh, a professional engineer uh, to sign and seal engine, uh, engineering and construction documents, and 28 states have exemptions from that, so it goes beyond just Massachusetts. Yep. Thank you. Um, Chairman, someone? Yeah, well, um, uh, thank you. So families in the Merrimack Valley want answers. They want to know that NYSORS, Columbia Gas, and FIMSA, <clears throat> and all other pipeline companies will make the changes recommended by safety experts uh, to protect them from going through another disaster. Chairman Sumwalt, uh, would you commit to holding a public hearing in Merrimack Valley on this issue? Mr. Chairman, what we are going to do is we will have the investigation completed uh, in September, which of course is the anniversary month. In that, uh, in, in, in closing it out, we will have a board meeting, a sunshine meeting, which is open to the public, where the board will openly uh, deliberate the findings, recommendations, and probable cause of that disaster. And would you conduct a hearing in Merrimack Valley talking about the conclusions in your uh, in your investigation once it's complete. Mr. Chairman, I'd be delighted, or uh, Senator Markey, I'd be delighted to come in and talk to you about that and uh, and, and see what we can uh, discuss in that area. Okay, I think that would be extremely helpful to the community up there. Well, it's a lovely part of the nation and we'd love to be there. Again, September's a wonderful month especially. You know? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so uh, thank you for that because I do think it's a critical opportunity for the uh, community to receive some reassurance, and you've been doing 
a very good job, by the way. Just want to say that, and we thank you for your good work after this disaster. And uh, so, um, <clears throat> so the uh, um, uh, roll calls on the floor, however, are calling away all the members. And so, at this point, what I'll do is I'll I'll place the hearing in a short recess, and other members will come back and reconvene the hearing. But uh, we thank you uh, both for your good for your service. Thank you.